I'm Doreen Griffin from Le Glow Cosmetics um, and Le Glow Beautiful Brides. Um, I've come today to show you the uh, amazing bronzing powder. I have been with the company for a long time. In fact, I like the product so much I bought the company. So you've got a loose powder and we also do a compact, a pressed powder. So I'm going to show you today the versatility of how amazing this product is. The bronzing powder can be used as an overall base, it can be used as a blusher, a contour, even on your eyes, um, body makeup, you can even put it on your nails. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to prep the skin with a little bit of moisturiser. Um, makeup always sits better on a freshly primed and moisturised skin. Um, it allows your makeup to not to sink into the skin. So the first thing I'm going to do is to use a concealer. The best way of putting a concealer is to use your fingers. With a finger, you, um, you have the warmth of your finger which helps your concealer glide on. By putting your eyes up to the ceiling, you're just putting a, getting it right under the eye there where you want your concealer to be. The con if you're thinking about the bridge of your nose creating shadow, um, you also can put a little tiny bit into the corner of the eyes. And so we're just starting with the contouring because I'm putting a little bit lighter. The lightest part of your face should be this part here, and light highlights. So if you remember dark recedes and light highlights, that's always a good way of remembering how to contour. This is your lightest part, it should be here, here, here and under the eyes. So you imagine your face as a, a triangle. In fact, makeup is all about little triangles, whether it's a triangle on the eyes, but this part should stay lighter. So with the compact, you just press your brush down over the surface. The secret of this powder is to use it sparingly. And I always use the back of my hand. My back of my hand gets quite bronzed. The loose powder, which is your original powder, is, um, is under a mesh. Now, if you didn't have that mesh, this is a very unique design. The mesh is really important because without the mesh, you would not be able to gauge how much goes on your brush. A good brush needs to be a real hair brush, but also the, the length of the brush is important as well. Now, with these retractable brushes, um, they're brilliant because you've got three brushes you've got one two and three so when you are what I do when I'm going out and I'm sure when Charlie mm. goes out she doesn't want to take much makeup load up your brush pop it in the container and it's ready for a night out dust it just lightly all over the face working down because we all have facial hair, so you don't ever want to put your makeup up. So outwards and downwards, so long strokes all over. So bring it all the way down. You put your bronzer, a little bit more contouring around the temples, slimming it back down there. And then you bring your bronzer a little bit more, if you want to put a bit more on, or just want a slightly more in-depth colour for your bronze, for your blush. A little bit more under the jawline. Take your brush up to smaller, close for me, and we're going to sweep it over the whole of the eye area. This is just the quickest makeup. And I'm just going to go a little deeper on the contours and the contouring of the eyes gives you that beautiful sun-kissed look. I'm just going to bring the bronzer all the way down to create a beautiful, this part of a, a woman is just absolutely stunning and also if you are small chested, busted, you can then a little bit there just helps create um, a beautiful line. I've just wetted my brush, just using my back of a hand. 
you can, this is how you can create um, a lovely, slightly deeper line along the eye area. Just taking it a little under the eye as well. Bear in mind we're still using one product. So using it as a body bronzer, so just to um, just to show you the versatility of being very very quick. You can do this on your legs, uh, you can do it on your arms. It's got a lovely sheen to it so you will never look orange and you probably put as much as you want or as little as you want. So I'm going to finish off with a little where the highlighting should go down the centre of the nose. As it's shown on my diagram. A little bit up here. So that finishes off the bronze. Piece.